Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Robeson, and today I am going to walk you through what could perhaps be my absolute last project in San Diego, California. I love this house. It's owned by former clients and actually now friends of mine, Jen and Robert Grammons. They asked me to come over for drinks recently. I did, and you know what? I got a story to tell you. Is that an amazing first impression in a home or what? These are disappearing doors that go into the walls, and what you see straight when you walk in here is the most spectacular pool I've ever seen. This is an incredible home to begin with, and yes, most of the world would be so thrilled to live in this house, even the way it is right now. And you know what? There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's amazing. But when I looked at it, I thought, you know, it could be amazing -er. Is that a word? What is wrong with this room? Nothing. But could I make some changes here and there to just sort of step it up a little bit? So here's my plan. Today, they're not here. I'm gonna walk through, I brought my blue tape, and I'm gonna tape off where I think the furniture should go. <laughs> They say optimal television watching is about 11 feet. Right now, we're at 14. I think I can literally tape it out on the floor. Kind of old school, but it works. It's very effective. I allowed myself 30 inches. And that right there, from here to where that back is, is 30 inches. So it would be a really comfortable, it would be just like sitting on the other side. Now this is a booth. This thing is so dark. The seat is dark, the table's dark, the countertop is dark. And when you're sitting in here, I gotta tell you, you feel a little bit like you're in a cave. And yet, it's perfect for a family. I mean, how cool is this? Everyone can scoot around, you can seat a lot of people here. I have some ideas of ways that they can take this, soften it up a bit. In doing this, usually when you have a countertop, you, it overhangs like an inch and a half. And that's fine to do around here, but here, this just creates a pain in the neck or back because it should not have gone over here. There should have been no overhang. It should have been flush with the back. But if I do a cushion here, I can bring that out. So rather than cover this up, I'll bring the cushion out and that will make it flush. Then my plan is to get rid of this table. Too much of a good thing. This is the same stone that is surrounding this entire island and the entire booth. I'm gonna take this out, replace this with a more organic wood color. I think that that's what this, this room is missing, is this organic element. So if this table goes lighter and has, it's not, it's not the white, it's not the espresso, it's in between and it is a wood that has grain showing, it'll look a lot more organic and a lot more uh, welcoming and warm. So here's what they've done so far. I came over here a couple of months ago and I said, you know, this backsplash here, this used to be a gray tile backsplash that came along here, jumped in here, and then straight down there was tile and then nothing else. And I said, guys, you're missing flow. So we're gonna practice the principle of flow that I teach on the design sessions. If you wanna know more about flow, and trust me, you do, you should go and join the design sessions. It's on our website, the Ken Woven website, and it is the most amazing on-demand platform for learning how to do interior design projects in your own home. And hello, elephant in the room, design sessions members. Can you please tell me what's wrong with this picture? That's a warm gray. It's like a brown gray. Whatever it is, it's gonna go up against that cabinet. That looks nice. Pismo. It looks nice, but it looks 
more like a softer version that I like. I got scared. I ain't scared. <laughs> So it's an exciting day here at my clients. Our furniture has arrived or is arriving. Kelly's here to help me today. And Josh and Brady are also here to schlep a bunch of stuff in, lay out the rug and start the process of making this house look absolutely beautiful. One of the things that we're gonna do today is all the accessorizing. I need 12 of the 12 inch. Yeah, this one, so I'm I not, can, I'm not. I, I, I knew it, I was like, you know, I don't know she's gonna like that one, but yeah. it is a unique plant in some ways. I know. Do you ever wonder? I think I hate that pot. You wonder, I run like thunder, I'm only one, but got you out number. So far, everything looks super dark, which was not where I was going. Just two. Do you think if I put it up that high that my client will forget to water it? I'd say 100%. Darn it. Am I ever gonna see you again? I don't know, you tell me. You gonna come out to Tulsa? Yeah, okay. why not? You should. We'll do some stuff together. Project. My my house. You want to meet me somewhere? Mm -hmm. You want to talk to me about something private? Yes. Uh. Is this where the marriage proposal comes? <laughs> Love you, Oscar. Today, I'm going to walk you through a project that I did in just a few short months. It's actually my last and final project here in San Diego, California, and I can't wait for you to meet these clients. They have a great story. Are you guys ready to see what I came into and what I thought about doing and where we went? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. My sweater's stuck. This great room is just that, a great room. It's actually huge. And the fact that it has disappearing doors right on out to the outside is spectacular. But there were some problematic issues here. Number one, pretty much the walls were just a very soft white. The ceiling was a soft white. And all of the cabinets, including this booth, was all an espresso. Nothing felt like it came together. Everything felt like it was just either too bright or too dark too bright or too dark. And there was no cozy, warm, inviting feeling in this room. One of the things the client did not like about this house and what they had chosen when they bought the model was they had picked this stone. This stone was so dark and the client literally wanted to redo this. And I said, you know, I think I have I think I have a solution where we can keep the stone. How many of you know that one of my highest priorities on any project, doesn't matter what it is, it's lighting. Would you like to see the difference between this stone like this, the way it's been since they bought this house, and like this? So we redid her accessorizing, adding art over here, a companion piece on the other side to balance it, one on the top, one on the bottom. I loved the floating shelves that were in here. They were this deep originally. And I said, you know, none of those shelves are lit. And it's, it's true in every project. Lighting means everything. We accomplished this look by adding strips of LED lights along each one of these shelves. Then Oscar came in and added this amazing strip of wood to the existing shelf. It's very simple, just added, but if you were to look underneath here, you would see these rows of lights that add these dots, which are not very fun to look at. 
This little piece of trim will shield your eye from that obtrusive light. This booth was really a great upgrade that the clients bought when they bought their house. In the model, it came with the same exact dark stone. Then they had the same stone right here on the tabletop. This looked like Darth Vader had arrived. It was so dark. Then I found the sugar wood. Oh my gosh. Is this just so, is this wrong? Is this weird? And now I'm back to doing all that I wanted. Here is my idea. Let's upholster, not just put cushions in here, not just a bunch of pillows, throw pillows. Let's actually upholster it like a booth in a restaurant. Oh my gosh. This is now so stinking comfortable. And look, this is like, hey, the heavier people, like for me at Thanksgiving, I might want this one. Mm -hmm. And then in the summer when I'm at my thinner point, I might need this one closer to me. Go. You may be saying, Rebecca, why did you upholster that in white or off-white? I can tell you why. I've told you for the last few videos that I've done with you guys, I used perennials fabric. This is the stuff that you can spray with bleach and you can get red wine stains or anything else out of it. The original wall color, which is this, wraps on two walls and I changed the wall color here all the way across and on that wall to a Benjamin Moore color called Ashley Gray. The reason I did that was to create a warmer look. On these two walls over here, we're looking at all of the dark cabinetry. Now, with the Ashley Gray added all the way across and the star tile here, you can see that it's created much more of a sense of flow and less contrast. When I first arrived at this house, they had a backsplash underneath here that went up to here, back down and around, and it was a light color. But above the hood was drywall. And I said, uh, 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 uh. What we need here, guys, is flow. Before we had a rectangular coffee table, and now I had Oscar build me a custom-made rustic oak plank wood table. And it's a 60 by 60, much more appropriate for the size of this room and the size of this sofa, which is quite large. This new sofa is light years ahead of what they had. We had this custom made in perennials fabric. But you know what makes this sofa completely different than the last one is that. I actually made this a two-sided sofa so that one side would actually be perfect for parties flowing in and out. And remember, this is actually indoor-outdoor fabric. You could sit on this with a bathing suit, a wet bathing suit enjoy everyone and still be inside warm well lit with these two really cute floor lamps on either side is this so fun so buddy and i were just talking about this is where it all began wasn't it buddy when i was in west hollywood shopping for this project and I was looking for the right area rug. Now what they had before was a color. It was such a good blend right into the floor. You could barely see it. But I wanted to find something that was modern, still organic. Um, I didn't want it to be Scandi, but I still wanted it to be, we both did, didn't we? Come on, buddy, you know we did. <laughs> this leather tray in cognac brings in our terracotta look. Basket with fresh plants. You'll see fresh plants everywhere, which I'm sure she's gonna love. And then look at this. You see what this is? This is a wooden bowl of beads. Every color in the rug and every color in the palette. All the things in here, well, gosh, it's hard to say because I love everything, but come on. This light fixture, this fixture is 60 inches round and it drops from the beam to what, what how far did we drop it, Eric? 
62 inches, thank you. It's always nice to have your electrician right behind you so he can answer these technical questions. This wall I think is so important in this home because it kind of separated from the rest of the room and there's only so much drywall and then the rest goes away as doors and windows. So something really spectacular needed to be here. I found this route in my travels and in my shopping and I thought, my gosh, how architectural and yet organic. It would be great in the right home, right location. And this turned out to be the absolute perfect spot for this route. I had two spotlights dropped from the ceiling that light this route up so beautifully. If you'd like to see what this would have looked like if we had not added lights, I can show you right here. All right, as we cross this way, you're so good. Okay, you can turn around yeah. and take a look at your new family room. Let's go. Oh my God, look at this carpet. Do you like it? <laughs> Do you? Those are awesome. Those are really cool. These are my favorite chairs so of all time. Cool. I'm so glad you like these because I think these are the so cool. best oh, chairs so ever. Cool. <laughs> Isn't it so great? So like, you guys, you know, before oh, you had... You know what? Do you actually use a bear? Do you like it? It's gorgeous. Good. Yes, thank you. And look at this amazing chandelier. It's comfortable too. And it's not too big. It's nope. Perfect. Yep. So. The queen of lighting, by the way. Oh uh, yes, light. Well, doesn't it make a difference? It makes a huge difference. It's unbelievable. Yeah, all of these, all of these are lit. If you look underneath here, and then Oscar ran a strip of molding along here so that your eye doesn't see it. Unbelievable. It doesn't feel, it's much, it's so much it's warmer so comfortable. Here. This rug helps a lot. I would just say it's just... Don't like, you think? Especially coming out like this. Yeah, it, it sort of put, it, it connected it. Yeah. Now? Now the rest of the house... Good luck area. walking into the rest of the room. <laughs> we're, we're not going to. <laughs> we're just staying here. You should sleep in here. I love this booth! you to hear the story about how I met these two which was like six years ago and I happened to be shopping in Nordstrom I'll start the story okay okay because I had recently been on house.com looking at um, different things for our house and the only pictures he liked were your designs correct literally the only ones that he said, I like that, I like was that. yours. Wow. And so I gave him the whole pitch about Rebecca Robeson. He was like, mm, I don't know. And I had sent you an email and I was really excited. And every day I checked my email, I checked my email. And by like day six, he's like, have you heard from them? Like it was like, we were waiting like for like, are we having a baby or not? It was like a very, it was a very uh, intense thing. And so I said, when I, I, at the end of that week, I happened to see you at the store. And it was really funny. So then you came over and I had just oh told you that God. I was, you were out of town for a week, so you yeah. hadn't gotten to your email. Mm -hmm. And you were at our house the next morning. Yep. Now we have like 14 more rooms to yeah, do. We've got a lot more oh. rooms. I know. So I think between now and when I come back, if I come back next year, we'll figure it think out. about What's your next priority? He hates and that. Pillows. 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 Pillows and window pillows. treatments. Now listen, I have one thing to say. A lot of pillows. You men always complain about your wives and all their pillows. <laughs> pillows. Listen, Robert, pillows this right here is the end of your pillow investment Thank days. Thank you. 
you now they're have popping out of every closet the right perfect now. Perfect and right pillows. You don't need to buy anymore. Oh. So stop it with the pillow shopping. No, well, there's a rug and it I'm matches. Gonna go, I'm gonna exactly. Go buy one more pillow. Which oh, your Hermes pillow. Hermes pillow. You can add that as your crowning signature touch. pillow. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. Thanks, guys. You're Cheers. you're so welcome. It was this a pleasure. This is gorgeous. This is really good wine. Yes. She's staying. Delicious. I'm staying. Who has the best wine tonight? Mm. <laughs> That's where I'm going. <laughs> Well, guys, what do you think? Is this an amazing home? I think that maybe phase two of Becky coming back to San Diego should be this area. I mean, yes, the pool is pretty spectacular, and right now it feels really good, but I think there's a lot of outdoor furniture, umbrellas, you know, a whole lot more I could do out here than what they've done in the beginning. So. Leave me a comment below and let our clients know, should Becky return to San Diego yet another time to do another phase of Grumman's Villa? Leave me a comment below and let our clients know. They read the comments. All right, you guys, I love you. I'll see you next time. Wish me luck, because right after this, tomorrow, I am packing pods and I am moving to Tulsa. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. You and me together. Oops. Hi guys, Kelly's here with me. Hi. We are at the home of our clients. Remember the clients who have that amazing pool that just goes on forever? So this is Dr. Grammons. He's the one who's gonna be like so blessed tonight and his son, Van. Hello. And uh, they're home for a few minutes, but I told them they cannot peek. So he's using his mask. So the housekeeper just said, hey, um, do you have a squeegee? And she goes, oh yeah, I have a squeegee collection. This is her squeegee collection. She <laughs> said, what do you- Everybody has a squeegee collection. What do you want to squeegee? Must have been for Christmas. Jen, you owe me a new sweater.